How's it going everybody? Cub fan here in Snapshot 13W04A and let's take a look at some of the changes in this week's Snapshot. So the first change is the ability to place dispensers uh, facing downwards and also upwards and so you can do something like this put some fire charges in there and then make some cool traps that way and besides just up and down facing dispensers uh, they also have some new properties so if we place some TNT in the dispenser Dispensers now place prime TNT, and so this is a good option for auto mining. If you just hook a clock up to this thing. Okay, everybody, and dispensers also have some additional functionality this snapshot. So if we place a flint and steel in a dispenser, and go ahead and apply redstone signal, it'll ignite the block in front of it. And the same thing happens uh, if we put a flint and steel in front of a dispenser with TNT in front of it. The dispenser can now ignite the TNT like that uh, and also if you place bone meal in a dispenser and say you have a crop in front of it if we go ahead and flip the lever here you'll see that some green particles come up and the bone meal is applied to the crop and if you apply bone meal seven times you can grow crops to full maturity now with dispensers so that's pretty cool but uh, the best functionality in my opinion is the fact that now dispensers if you stand in front of them they will equip your armor so right now you'll see I have no armor on and I filled each of these dispensers back here with the appropriate uh, diamond armor piece so if we then step in here we'll now see I'm now fully uh, fully equipped with diamond armor so pretty cool stuff there uh, dispensers definitely improved Okay, everybody, and there's also uh, a major change to bone meal, as you saw before. So now if we right-click with bone meal, it only advances the wheat one stage of growth instead of immediately causing it to grow to full maturity. So you actually have to click seven times with bone meal before you can get a, a fully mature wheat crop. Uh, so that is a major, major change to bone meal, and that will definitely affect how people start the beginning of the game. Also new this week, the comparators now work with jukeboxes, so depending on what type of disc you put in, we have 13 weight install here, and you'll just see with 13, it outputs a redstone signal of 1, with weight, it outputs a signal of, let's see, 12 here, and then with music disc 11, it'll put a put out a signal of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So different music discs will output different redstone signals from a jukebox when there's a comparator present. Okay everybody, so there's been a number of changes this week as well to command blocks in the form of the scoreboard command. Uh, so the scoreboard command basically allows you now to keep track of the number of player kills someone has, the number of total kills players and mobs combined a player has, uh, the number of times a player has died, etc. And you can also do things like, uh, like if you have a certain number of, of uh, things in your inventory, you can keep track of that. And that way you can set up sh shops and stuff. So what I've done here is I've used the scoreboard command to keep track of the total, uh, my total kill count, uh, which I've named kills. Um, and basically what this does is it basically keeps track of the amount of player and mob kills that I have. Uh, and then this one here, this uh, displays the the kill count in the sidebar. And you'll see on the side it says Cub Famine 135 kills one. Uh, so if we spawn in the zombie, I go over here and kill him. You'll see the sidebar goes up to kills two. And you can also rename command blocks now. So I could say rename this Voice of Notch. And then say I wanted something like to have Notch say, great job, Cub fan. When I got five kills, I could set up some command blocks. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Okay, everybody. So what I've done here is I've made a small clock down here. And I'm just going to start this up uh, by placing a torch down on the side here. Like that. So now we have a pulse going around. And it's going to create a basic clock. And then I'll cover this up 
basically what these command blocks are doing is it's testing for someone with a score kills with a minimum of five. I'm currently at two, so you see it doesn't output a signal here. And this goes to the voice of notch uh, command block we made earlier. And it's going to say, great job, Cub fan. And then I can use this one to uh, remove kills from my players. So if I hit this, you'll see my kill count go down. And so we're going to go ahead and cover this up. And we'll see if we can get this to work. All right, so five kills is a magic number. So let's see if we can get there. One, two, three, five. And there we go. Comes on. You'll see that redstone come on back there. And yeah, pretty cool stuff. And then if I remove uh, some kills for myself just by using this command block here. Uh, we will eventually get to a point where the test four command fails and we should see the redstone signal go off here. Yep, there we go. Uh, so the slash scoreboard command is still a work in progress, but it's going to add a lot to uh, command blocks and it's going to be really great for adventure map makers. Anyways, guys, that's going to be all for this week's snapshot. As always, there'll be a download link and a full change log in the description. So thank you all for watching. This has been CubFan. Goodbye.